Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm Sean Hoffman, for those of you that don't know me. Um, I've been attending Howick Baptist for about a year and three quarters now, but I regularly uh, attended when I was a child. Uh, my mum always tried to teach me the gospel and about God, but uh, as I drifted through intermediate and early high school, I just I drifted away from church and I uh, I just wanted to hang out with friends and the opposite sex and it all went downhill and uh, I just I was blatantly not living the life that God intended and but I still believed I was a Christian uh, not really understanding what a Christian was or at least suppressing that but um, I started to realize at the end of the fourth form that something wrong in this, you know, it, my life isn't what it's supposed to be and something wrong with uh, what I'm doing with my life, but I just never did anything with the conviction so small. Um, but uh, in fifth form I started to attend church regularly when my mum returned after attending Howard Community Church. And um, I only intended to come to a few uh, church services, but I ended up um, getting drawn into youth group and church, and uh, God moved me to continue to attend. And um, from that point, I, uh, when my mum woke me to ask if I wanted to come to church, the usual teenage grunt was replaced by, why didn't you wake me earlier? And uh, pretty arrogant, <laughs> but, um, and then followed by a rushed shower, almost, um, and sometimes missing breakfast in order to, uh, in a futile attempt to get to church on time, but, um, you know, I thought the stench of a 15-year-old boy out of bed would have been worse than his tummy rumbling, so, um, uh, yeah, the more I attended church, the more I grew in knowledge about uh, the truth and gospel and uh, I got to understand who God really was he wasn't some airy fear in the, God, uh, in the sky that doesn't care what I do uh, and he was angry at me and for what I was doing and so I started to grow in knowledge by reading the scriptures that have been preached on and um, uh, at sun on Sundays and on Fridays after youth group and and then uh, when discipleship groups came up, uh, I, Jono took me under his wing and that, that helped me because he would always take me back to the scriptures and, you know, uh, without the scriptures I would be lost because I knew nothing about who I really was and who I was to God and, you know. Um, one night at youth group, instead of the usual preaching, there was a testimony being shared, and um, I listened intently, and then suddenly I was shaken by conviction when uh, repentance was mentioned, and I just thought to myself, how could I be so arrogant that I've been living my life against what God says, and yet I've never ever asked for forgiveness with sincerity in my heart, and, and I just... I broke down and I didn't, I just, but I, I got strength from the Lord when I prayed and, but I, sin did not fall away easy, um, it still came but, and it still tried to find cracks in the armour, but with God's grace I held strong and, uh, um, you know, I, I got so angry with myself because I was still young in the faith, and I still am, and I still slip, and it, yeah, it's, and um, at one point I I got angry enough that I took it out on the bedroom wall, and um, luckily Dad's opposing anger <laughs> calmed me down for the bit, but I, I knew from then that... Uh, my hatred of sin would continue to grow and will until the day I'm with the Lord and when faith becomes sight, you know, and then I'll sin no more. 
After learning about the works of uh, preachers that strive and have strived to reform the church, I wanted to hear and read these men's sermons and works, but I, I thought I'd only be able to read of them. Um, but I was told about Impact Conference where I could hear more preachers uh, who call for a gospel-centered church built on the foundation that is Jesus Christ, and I jumped at the chance to listen to these guys, and yeah, at, at Impact, I, um, I was talking to Jono, and Jono decided he wanted to find for himself whether I was truly a Christian through the scriptures, and when he found uh, for himself that I was, he advised I should get baptized, and I was supposed to have my baptism last year, uh, but I had a air operation, and so I wouldn't be able to go under water. Um, so I had to wait until now. Oh, and I missed the last one because my parents were away. Um, so I'm here, and you know, to show you that I was once dead in my trespasses and sin, but God has changed my heart, and He softened the stone that was my heart and it's put my, uh, life into me so I'm going to get baptized in obedience with what Jesus commanded uh, to make disciples and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Thanks for listening. And we are thankful that God has softened your heart and we can see evidence of that in your life and uh, your walk. So. Sean, based on your confession of faith in Christ as your Lord and your Saviour, I baptise you in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit.